old handmade building. The history of this facility is such a passion for me and for many at this church. People that are repelling, they are the ones that they're their hands on looking at the physical conditions of the, of the masonry or the fenestration and, and what its condition is. So today we are going to start the investigation of the exterior masonry of the church, uh, starting with the tower. Once water finds any way in, it, it, it can go over. where it wants to go. So it doesn't take very much for it to start expressing itself where we see it. Go do a gutter investigation and see if any of the gutters are causing any of the problems happening here in the interior. A device called a sea snake, it's a camera on a long flexible hose, and we'll send that down into the, the downspouts and drains. So some examples of the failed mortar you can see. Moss is an indicator of water infiltration. So when moisture gets into the wall, um, it's, the water vapor will exit the wall through the mortar joints, and that's, that's the way the wall is designed. So these stones appear to have iron minerals in them on the surface. We see iron inclusion in certain stones. See how the stone is half and half? This half, this is what the whole stone looked like. This half here. Then we did iron stain removal on this half. So this is a cleaned half of the stone. Okay, thanks, Kevin. Um, so from what you can see up there, it, does it look like the water is being directed properly towards the gutter? What we're doing is running through the possibilities of how do we deal with these various conditions that we can see. It's going to last another hundred years. 